Hey y'all, it's my fault in today's video. I'm recreating the look that you saw at the very beginning, which is actually a face chart that Milk1422 posted. And I'm using two palettes from the Jaclyn Hill Vault collection. Um, one is Rain the Alarm and the other is Bling Boss because they have some nice shades in there. So starting out with this maroon shade. Um, you don't have to use this palette to create this look. This is just what I end up using because um, I watched it dip in some other palettes. So this is those two palettes that I already mentioned, blah, 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 Um, yeah, so taking that Marie shade and just starting the halo look. It looked like cutting the face chart had halo. And I went in with a reddish matte tone that was in the Bling Box palette. This is more of a crimsony shade. So we're putting that, layering it up. What was that? I don't even know. Anyways, layering that up. I did make my skin extra pale. So probably going back and I would change it. Next I'm taking this metallic shade from the Ring the Alarm palette. And this is actually the shade Bomb Ass. And I'm just going to play that in that entire open area here. And definitely I wish I kind of had dipped into maybe a little bit of the Jeffree Star Blood Cheer palette. Again I wanted to try some, a few things that were different. Yeah. The color might be changing ever so slightly as my camera decides to readjust. And then I'm taking this shimmery, glittery, black tone. I don't remember what the, the shade's called, but taking that to the lower lash line and then into that outer corner on my upper lids. And then going in with that orangey tone just to kind of blur everything together and kind of bring some warmth into the look. And then I'm just going to pretty much just take some more of that maroon the bag in because I felt like that shade got a little bit lost there and then I'm just going to use that as well to blend up into my brow bone. And then I'm going in with a nice shimmery pink to just kind of give a bit of a highlight to the center of the lid because again it looked more like a halo. I put that in the inner corner. I don't like how that looks so I'm going to end up putting a different color over top of it. Take the maroon just to kind of buff out that black because they definitely had some red and along with bomb ass I'm putting that underneath as well. Get some of that warmth and then taking that all the way up through the crease. See the area? And then just wipe my fallout. I'm sitting inside the palettes for right now. Actually, no, I'm gonna go back in with that red, reddish bomb ass shade and kind of start painting my nose. I took out my nose ring. This is the first time I actually took out my nose ring for a look. Um, you guys can't see it, but I'm applying that down to my lips and then taking the maroon shade and kind of taking that more inner corner and kind of more on the shadow parts and bring that down. And then I'm doing that up on the top as well. And I'm taking bomb ass and going down with that. And this is actually the stage of where the butterfly is going to go. Um, quickly going to do my brows. Kind of a darker shade than I normally would go. Let's be honest though, this is the exact paint pot that I normally use. <laughs> it's the shade Rich Brown from the Tarte Amazonian Clay. Um, so yeah, just kind of brushing that through my lid, my lids, my brows. And then I'm taking the next NYX Epic Ink Liner. I cannot talk. I'm not redoing this. And just doing a, just a regular line there. And then I'm zooming us in for the butterfly. But as you can see, I kind of failed at doing... I zoomed it in and I had looked and it was right. And then I looked at the mirror and I didn't pay attention to any of this part. So you can't see pretty much anything that I'm doing with the butterfly here. You'll see it more in a moment. More of the details work actually happens later. I'm just kind of filling in and outlining where things are going to go in black here. Not that you can see any of it. Oh, look at my hair. Mm. What is in my hair? I don't know. Is that dandruff? Huh. Weird. Yeah, you can see I'm doing detail. No, you can't really see. There you go. That's detail. Here we go. We're now going to use the Jeffree Star Lord Lipstick and Drug Lord. And I'm going to do this. And then I accidentally put an extra dot there. So the butterflies are very symmetrical. What's on one side is on the other. So I had to add a very similar dot on the other one. And then I'm zooming you guys back out. And I'm taking Drug Lord as well onto my nose. And some highlight points. And then I'm going to do some white freckles. To mimic what is on the the face chart from Milk 1422. And then I'm doing some glossy type looking highlights on my lips. 
because those are very prevalent in Milk 1422 looks, is not really actually a gloss, it's more just white liquid lipstick. And then I'm taking the shade Wifey, also from Jeffree Star, because it's pretty much what I always use, and kind of outlining where I'm going to have the blood, because <laughs> this look does have fake blood in it. <laughs> so just kind of macking that out. Macking that out? Mapping that out. <laughs> I cannot talk. So I get for recording the voiceover part at 10 o'clock at night. After I worked the whole day. Anyways, taking that shade as well. And now I'm creating the freckles with that. And going around everything. And then eventually I'm going to go back up to that butterfly as well. I'm just kind of following the face chart, which I have up. And you guys will see, have seen in the thumbnail of what I'm recreating. Actually, no, I'm going to put it next to me. I'm going to change that, how I edit it. Yep, it's all different now. When you guys go back, you'll be like, it was there the whole time. Yeah, it wasn't for me when I did the voice art part. Let's put that in. Um, now I'm taking Goth Topic from Wet n Wild uh, Cat Suit Liquid Liner. Yeah, something different. I know. What? Is this a Mayfall Zine tutorial or someone else's? I don't know. <laughs> I'm using that to do freckles. <laughs> I'm a weird moon. I'm sorry. Um, again, just putting in where I think that's going to go. Just kind of complete out that look. And yeah, making the nose kind of look kind of bruisey is kind of the the purpose here of like, I broke my nose and I had blood coming out of it. So next, I'm going to do, what am I going to do next? Oh, put highlight on. Nope. Now I'm putting on mascara next. Alright, so we're using Essence, uh, Volume Mascara, Curl and Hold, the usual. Everything will be linked down below. Well, I'll just have a list of it all down below. Um, taking a white, um, thing, my lash line. Because it looked like there's something there. Um, now I'm using Ofra highlighter in Pillow Talk. Kind of everywhere you see me applying it. Basically, now I'm putting some blush. Which I should have done before I even did the step, but whatever. <laughs> I don't know what shade that is. I'll put it in the description down below once I've had it. And I'm taking my usual lashes in the shade Legendary. Shade, style, style, the style called legendary. Legend, wait for it, dairy. <laughs> Again, I'm in a weird mood, I'm sorry. I'll just wind that. I'm not the greatest at applying lashes, but you know what? I still like them. And I'm getting better at them, I think. You guys might not agree, but I think I'm getting better at them. I'm using dual lash glue, in case you guys are wondering. And I'm losing my voice while I'm doing this voiceover, so that's lovely. If you like that, give me a big thumbs up. I actually got uh, glue on my contacts, so that's great. Here I'm using Mayron's uh, Quadrilayer Blood Gel, and I'm putting that underneath the uh, butterfly. And then, of course, as I said, it has to be looking like I broke my nose. So, putting the blood where I kind of mapped out that I wanted the blood. And basically covering up some of the work that I already did, but honestly, it was supposed to be like that, so I'm totally fine with that. Um, so yeah, there's the blood going down. Perfect, perfect. And then I felt like my inner core needed some more, so I put some pillow talk in there. As I said, kind of felt like it needed that. And then, yeah, there we go. That is the finished look. I hope you guys all like it. If you want me to do some more face charts in the future, let me know in the comments down below, and I will try making them happen. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!